Hello everyone, my name is Abu and welcome back to CRTV powered by City Realtor. Today I want to talk to you about a concept called Viage. You may have saw the thumbnail and thought it said Viagra but sorry to disappoint, this video is not about that. Hope you find what you're looking for. Now let's explain what is Viage. If you are familiar with reverse mortgages or equity release then it's quite similar to that. If you are unfamiliar with it I'll explain a little bit about what it is later on in the video. So I just learned about Viage just last week actually from a friend of mine who was born and brought up in France. Viage is a real estate transaction that is very popular in France whereby a buyer buys a property from a seller by putting down a down payment and a series of monthly payments directly to the seller until the seller dies and that's where the buyer gets full ownership of the property and full control. At first I did find it a bit morbid because it's like the sooner the seller dies, the buyer benefits, you know? And they actually made a comedy about it in 1972 where the seller wouldn't die. I mean, I haven't watched it, but I believe it's probably something to do with the buyer trying to kill the seller or something to get the property quicker. I don't know. Now let's break it down. The down payment is referred to as a bouquet and it's typically 30% of the actual value of the property. As for the monthly payments, there is a calculation done that takes into account the life expectancy of the sellers and the value of the property, as well as how much the down payment is. There are two types of viage. One of them is called viage occupé and the other one is viage libre. Occupé is where the seller continues to live in the property and with the libre, I believe they don't live there, the buyer has more control. This transaction generally happens where older people are selling to younger people to help fund their retirement. And the sellers generally tend to be widows or widowers. Now, let's look into the pros and cons. For a seller, they get to enjoy their retirement by benefiting from a new income without having to move out of their property when it's an occupé. For buyers, in many instances, it could work out to be a discount if the person dies sooner. However, there have been instances where the seller has lived beyond what they were estimated to live until. There's a lady called, I'm probably going to butcher this, but it's, I believe is Jeanne Kalmen, who sold her property via the Viage route when she was 90 years old, which for anyone would be a good gamble, right? Wrong. <laughs> she ended up living until she was 122. Her buyer actually died before her and he left his debt to his widow. And by the time the sale was complete and she died, the buyers actually ended up paying double what the property value was. Also, if you do end up missing a payment as a buyer, then you could lose everything. The seller will end up keeping the property and all the money you paid up until that point. So it can be very strict. On the flip side, the friend that I told you about earlier actually invested in two viages roughly 10 years ago. With one of them, the seller actually moved into a retirement home two years after the first transaction, which meant he was able to rent the property out and use that rent to pay his monthly payments. And he was able to keep the profit if it was more than his monthly payment. And when the seller died, which was quite recently, he ended up selling the property for double what it was valued at at the time because the property values went up. So in his case, he was very fortunate, but it is a gamble. So you must keep that in mind. So obviously this concept is not available in the UK, but I'm keen to hear if you think it would work here. In the UK, we have something called reverse mortgages or equity release, where a company will lend you a portion of the equity that you have in your property, but that would accrue interest in that time. The benefit of the reverse mortgage though is that when you die, they'll sell the property and they'll take their share and you get to still give your or some of the share to your inheritors, whoever they might be. However, VIJ is obviously a bit more unique because there is a buyer that benefits who is not a big mortgage company. And you could look at it like it's helping out the next generation. I think many Muslims might find this interesting because this VIJ concept has no interest attached to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Go crazy in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.